Can you tell us a little bit about how the world looks like 10, 50 years from now? Well, I'm working very hard on Blue Origin. I'm working very hard on AI. Um, I'm the least retired person in the world, and I will never retire because work is too much fun. It will never happen. <laughs> the moon is a gift from the universe. It's so close to Earth. It's only three and a half days away. We, have, we can launch and get to the moon anytime. Uh, unfortunately, to get to other planetary bodies, they have very rare launch windows. Mars, you can go to Mars once every 26 months or so. And so the moon is really a gift and it has a very low gravitational field, only a sixth of Earth's, which means it takes about 30 times less energy to lift a kilogram of mass off the moon than it does to lift it off the Earth. So we can use the moon as a rocket fuel depot to go to the rest. One of the things that's gonna happen in the next, it's hard to know exactly when, it's 10 plus years, but I bet it's not more than 20 years. We're gonna start building these giant gigawatt data centers in space. So these giant training clusters, those will be better built in space because we have solar power there 24-7 uh, and, uh, and, and the solar power there is there are no clouds and no rain, no weather. So you can build, we will, be, it will, we will be able to beat the cost of terrestrial data centers in space in the next couple of decades. And so space will end up being one of the places that keeps making Earth better. It already has happened with weather satellites. It's already happened with communication satellites. The next step is gonna be data centers and then other kinds of... Our robotic technology is getting so good, we don't need people to live in space. Anything that, could, that we need done, if you need to do some work on the surface of the moon or anywhere else, we, can, we will be able to send robots to do that work. And that will be much more cost-effective than sending humans. <laughs>